It's the Gamer Hour, so you know what that means. Put your Easter egg candy down, DQ out of that Warzone lobby, and turn up your headset volume, because you're about to see me and a professional athlete pop some melons. And I'm not talking about the fruit. <laughs> In tonight's show, I panic. My gosh, I am just... Ah! Ah! My guest clutches up. I'm Batman. Oh, he got me, he got me. Finish him. Oh, that was my bad. You got him though, right? And together, we ambush some noobs. Tighten up, boy. Tighten up, boy. Hey, oh, wow, well, we got so much money, I am tripping. What are you doing? Get out of my game! But before you get to see us popping off, we gotta talk about games that are coming your way this year. More exciting Battlefield news. The new Battlefield game is speculated to launch on November 19th, 2021. <laughs> According to DICE insiders and leakers, the next Battlefield will be set 10 years in the future with drones, robots, and people wearing oxygen masks to protect themselves from COVID-30. <laughs> Just kidding. But when you ride in a convoy with your squad, everyone is seated six feet apart. Get this though, the new Battlefield has a single player slash co-op campaign set against the US versus Russia. Wow, how original is that one? It also has a free to play battle royale mode like every other AAA title. And the creativity doesn't stop there. The game's gonna be called Battlefield. Yeah, just Battlefield. Not Battlefield 6, not Battlefield 2030, 2040, just Battlefield. And to be honest, it's a smart idea, because now EA DICE can finally make a game that's a live service. Yeah, no more DLC paywalls that separate the community. I want to destroy noobs on the new maps, not just the old ones. <laughs> DayZ creator Dean Hall revealed his new game, Icarus. It's a survival game that blends the looting mechanics of Escape from Tarkov with the permadeath system from Hunt Showdown. Players must work together to survive the elements and wildlife in a time setting before they must extract from a certain rendezvous point. Cool. So it's just Far Cry 4 meets Battle Royale with some crafting for Minecraft. Love it. However, unlike most Battle Royale games, which last for about 15 to 30 minutes or so, these matches last for hours, days, and even weeks. Yeah. You thought you lost your friends playing Skyrim? This game will ensure you'll never see or hear from them ever again. <laughs> Call of Duty Warzone is still being plagued with bugs. Remember those attack helicopters? Well, they're back. And as invisible and indestructible as ever. With the new patch brought new problems, including this bug and a bug that renders players invisible. You thought the helicopters were bad. Yeah, now you get to feel what it's like being Harry Potter taking on Voldemort. Have fun with that one. At this point, it's pretty evident that one dev at Activision still wants his first victory royale, and he'll go to any distance or coding to achieve it. <laughs> the Chinese government partnered with Tencent in hunting down perhaps the world's largest cheating operation. A year-long investigation over a cheating ring that sold hacks for League of Legends, Overwatch, and other major titles across hundreds of countries culminated in a huge bust. Chinese police seized $46 million worth of assets, including supercars, and arrested 10 people. See, kids? That's why you don't cheat in video games. In China, you can get your Ferrari taken away and go to jail. <laughs> Whereas here in the US, you can get your account taken away and go make a new one. <laughs> Remedy's next game may be Alan Wake 2. I never played Alan Wake 1, but I heard it was incredible and I love Quantum Break, so it should be phenomenal. And speaking of incredible and phenomenal, our guest tonight is the wide receiver for the reigning Super Bowl world champions. That's right, from the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, please give a standing ovation for John Franklin III. John, glad to have you on the show. Thanks for being here. 
What's going on, man? Thanks for having me. Appreciate you guys. Now, to start this interview off right, congrats on winning the Super Bowl. Are you still soaking in being a Super Bowl world champ, or are you already setting your sights for next year? It was a once-a-lifetime opportunity. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to play in it, but, you know, still being a part of it was super cool. Uh, but kind of just, you know, for me personally, setting my sights for next year so that I could be a part of it. Already looking forward for the for the next season. I mean, but seriously, though, now that you've won the Super Bowl, I mean, I feel like you can retire now, right? Nah, I'm just fresh into the game. I don't, I'm only three years in, so I got a lot left football left in me. You're just getting started. So we, we know you're going to keep playing, just like the GOAT himself is going to keep playing until he's like, what, 45. What's it like playing with the greatest quarterback of all time? Man, it's a... Um... It's like, it's really, you really can't put it into words because it automatically makes you want to up your game just by knowing that you have a guy of his caliber that's going to be throwing you the ball. But just on your team in general, uh, I feel like everybody's level of play just up on their own. Like, it makes you want to work that much harder because you know what he represents. And you, that's what everybody's goal is to be the best. Everybody wants to be the GOAT in their own way. You know what I'm saying? So when you see that every day, you see how he comes to work and that confidence that he puts in you, you know, it, it makes you re reach your fullest potential. When he's throwing you the ball, are you thinking, I have to catch this? I mean, nah, because, you know, he's human just like us. Every ball not going to be right where it's supposed to be. You know what I'm saying? He's harder on himself than anybody. So, um, I mean, nah, you just, you know, it's, it's like playing catch in the backyard when you was five years old. You just got somebody that is a lot better probably throwing it to you. So. Now, do you see him doing any, like, strange or weird rituals or traditions, or does he just go out there and just gets the work done? Um, for what I've seen, um, you know, my time being around the team, I cut short this past season, but from what I've seen, it was just real regular. I mean, go out there and just play ball like he always been. Love it. Preparing for this next season, though, I see you training hard. You're doing some crazy footwork drills, some weightlifting, agility drills. My favorite, though, has to be your eye-hand coordination and balance drills all at once. Now, is this type of training just, just naturally easy for you, or is this years of practice in the making? Um, I feel like it's a little bit of both. I feel like I've been blessed with you know, a natural ability to be athletic, uh, but I've also been somebody that has worked super hard for years of my life to be able to be in the position that I am. So I feel like it goes hand in hand. Um, and now, you know, that I'm kind of like rebuilding myself coming off an injury allows me to even go over it once more and really perfect it. It's so, so you're, like you're saying, it's both talent and hard work coming together to create like the ultimate machine that you can be. Yeah, absolutely. I believe so. Amazing. So, and then with you being a Super Bowl champion, I mean, comes a lot of great perks and bonuses. You recently just bought your own house at age 26. Did you have your eyes on this property, or was this the first spot you found on the market after you took home the Lombardi Trophy? Uh, no, nah, I didn't have my, like, this was, like, the last property, honestly. But it just worked for us, and it was close to where we already were originally. Um, and my whole goal for the year 2020 was to buy some property. And, you know, I felt like I accomplished my number one goal last year. And I'm proud to say that I'm a homeowner for the first time. Smart man, cashing in some real estate. Now, you're not just investing in yourself with real estate. You're also investing in giving back to your community as well. Talk to me about your youth football camp and how this came about. Um, I put, had my first uh, annual youth camp when I was with the Bears probably like two years ago. Um, and I always wanted to do one back home. Uh, I planned on doing it last year, but, you know, Corona messed up everything. And this year I was given an opportunity to do it in my hometown. So, uh, you know, we called it the JF3 champ camp. Right after we won the Super Bowl, I felt like it was a perfect time to go home and put on an event for my community and um, bring a whole lot of NFL guys out. Just um, so the kids can see that, I mean, yeah, I got a, a solid group of NFL guys, a lot of big names that all came from Broward County. And I just wanted to be able to put these kids in front of these faces because to let them know that if that's what they want their life to be, that like, they can make it happen just like it, like just like we did. And um, that was my biggest motivation behind this. And I'm looking forward to it next Saturday already. I didn't even know, but I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be a big event. Uh, now, do you have, I mean, growing up too as a kid, did you have a specific player that you looked up to and wanted to be like? Um, and were you able to play that person in a video game? 
Uh, yeah, uh, my favorite player growing up was Michael Vick. Um, I actually had a chance to meet him. I know him really well. Uh, work with him. We had the same quarterback coach for a while. So, you know, for me, that was like a dream come true to meet him. And uh, playing with him in the video game, yeah, that was that was surreal. I think everybody could attest to that. <laughs> now, playing playing one of your favorite players in a video game is incredible, but playing yourself is even better. Um, NCAA Madden were both games that shaped your childhood. Did you ever think that one day you'd be featured on both? Um, nah, I, I really didn't. I felt like in high school, I knew I, I had a good chance to be on NCAA. Um, which I was the last one, and that was cool. But I, I, I mean, it was my go- dream since I was four years old to be a professional athlete. I didn't know it was gonna be football until high school. But um, once I went to college, you know, what I'm saying I felt like as long as I didn't give up, I always had opportunity because I knew what I, my value was and my worth. Now, be honest, which one does a better job at accurately reflecting your skill level? Is it Madden or um, NCAA? I feel like it's kind of hard because NCAA, I was playing quarterback. And then now I'm playing receiver. Well, I was playing corner and receiver in the past two minutes. So it was like, I didn't really put, I don't really have a lot to show for the receiver, like athlete side of me, as opposed to the quarterback side. So I would probably, but then that was right when I first got to college. So they didn't even get a chance to see my body of work. So it's kind of hard to answer that question, honestly. Yeah, it's just different positions. It's like how you know. It's like how are you going to judge one or the other at that point? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's still cool to be a part of both. Now, how excited are you though for them bringing back NCAA? Man, I'm, I've been waiting on that for years. They've been like teasing us for years about it, and the fact that I'm not going to believe it until I see it. But I feel like I'm because me, I always been a fan of college football. Like even growing up, I always watched college football. I always, I'm not even a big Madden player to this day. I rather play NCAA than Madden. But that's just me, personally. But um, I that that'll be great for me because then I could probably play some more football games. Don't get mad at me, but I am a total diehard college football fan. Like I, <laughs> Trojans all the way, my alma mater, USC, fight on. And uh, but yeah, I'd rather I I totally prefer the college scene over the NFL. Um, but yeah, I, I know I know what you're saying. Uh, yeah, it's just be- a different feel. That's all. It's just a different feel. Totally. Before the show, though, I asked you, if you could make a video game, what would it be? You said a sports game where you could play multiple sports in one lifespan. Now, to me, this sounds like the crew, but with athletic sports instead of motorsports. John, we need, we need to get this game made. I mean, what do we got to do here? This, this sounds awesome. I don't know, but I need to hurry up and patent that before somebody <laughs> tries to take it. <laughs> I don't know. I just feel like that's like my life. Um, since I was four, I played baseball. I played soccer for a year and never played soccer again. But from the time I was four years old, I played baseball, basketball, football, year round. When I got to middle school, I threw track in the mix. And then and throughout high school, I dropped baseball. I went to college, played two sports. So for me, like, it was – that was my hobby. Like, everybody always asked me, oh, what do you like to do? Like, I like to play sports. Like, that, I, I wasn't in the car, still not. Wasn't into comics, haven't watched all the Marvel movies till this day. Like, sports was my thing. So, like, I, if I wanted to make a game, it would kind of be to, about my life and be able to do something that nobody else has done, really. Make and, a game like that. And here I am thinking, I played a lot of sports growing up. I, I played soccer, I, tra- I did track and field, and I did football. That was it. You've played 10 times more sports than, than me. <laughs> I did a year around, like, on the year around. Yeah, so that was my life. By choice, though. Athletics is in your blood, my friend. Now, with with your past injury, you've gotten more time for more video games. Is this gaming dedicated with the boys or with the girlfriend? Because I know she's a gamer too. So, whose time are you giving more to during during this? Oh uh, well, like now that she's working and I'm just at the house chilling, the, like the, the the fellas getting the love right now, just because like I got the time to. I never was really like a big gamer growing up, but like. Since I had, you know, so much downtime, I really just play. I just, after rehab, is I can only train for so long. And, like, I got to recover sometime and chill. So I just hop on the game now. Like, I always wanted to get good at certain games that I never – that everybody else is good at. The guys in the locker room talk about all the time. I'm just like, oh, all right. I know I suck at this, but I want to try to get good at it. So, like, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a toss-up. She actually started liking games when I started playing more. The boys finally convinced you to, to start playing some Warzone, some Fortnite. 
Yeah, well, I haven't touched Fortnite. I, I, that looks too complicated for me, but I definitely <laughs> hopped on the Call of Duty train. Same here. Like The editing skills is non-existent for me yeah, in yeah. Fortnite. I don't know how to build to this day. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how they do it. I'm trying to watch people do it. I just, I just know for me it's too much. Now, out of the other different battle royales, are you strictly just Warzone these days, or are you are venturing to others like Apex, or is it? Are you just Call of Duty twenty four seven now? Uh, yeah, just Call of Duty. Like that's the only one I really ever played. Got it. So we also uh, at every show we open it up to the community to ask questions for our guests. Uh, this first question comes from Double Trouble. Who would you rather be in a foxhole with, Gronk or Brady? Uh, Gronk. Gronk, wow. Like, Gronk going to go. He going to go at all times. Like, yeah, I'll take Gronk just because he a big dude, too. Like, you know what I'm saying? Gronk, like, to get, he be blocking big people. Like, I'm going down there with him. Brady would just be chilling in the pocket. just, just. <laughs> Yeah, he want to stay clean. You know what I'm saying? We got to keep him clean. Gronk got to get dirty. So, if you go down to the foxhole, time to get dirty. Yep, yep, front lines, you're going to be in with Gronk all the way, leading the charge. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I'm going to have to keep up. Actually, he, gonna, he gonna might have to do all the work. Yep. You'll, you'll clean up the scraps, though, so you, you'll be there for him. <laughs> now, Slayer Dragon 467 wants to know, what's the best food in Tampa Bay? Where, where are the go-to spots? I don't know, because I ain't really been around like that to, to explore it everywhere, like, a couple of my teammates be trying to tell me some stuff. There's a lot of food trucks. I, I done tried a couple food trucks. Um, I don't know the names of them. That's damn. I feel bad because I don't have no like specific answers. And I'm a like plain type of dude. Like I go to hibachi spots. It's a good hibachi spot over here by my house. Um, There's nothing wrong with hibachi. That sounds delicious. <laughs> yeah, and it's another another like uh, seafood spot called Crazy Hot and Crazy Crab that I like going to. Um. But I'm actually like a plain, plain guy, man. Like the regular restaurants, Zaxby's. I eat fast food, a little bit of everything. You're a top professional athlete, and you're telling me you go eat at fast food, and you're All still performing at the level that you are. No, it's it's impressive. I, yeah, I mean, I don't know nothing else. So like, why fix it? If it ain't broke, why fix it? You know. Hey, if it's working, you're right. Why change it up at this point? Uh, Hickleback wants to know, how fast is your 40-yard dash? Oh, man. When I was at Auburn, uh, during the – my fastest one I ever ran, when I was at Auburn, we ran on, the, um, you know, like after the spring, we all did combine testing. And I ran a 4-2-2 on the laser. That's probably the fastest 40 I ever ran. 4-2-2. Yeah. Man. that was that. Was, I felt like that was the time where I was my fastest, too, so far in my life. Dude, that's insane. Well, you think you can keep that speed up in a game of Warzone? Yeah, we can do it. I'm with it. Great, because we're about to drop hot into Verdansk. John, tighten up those cleats and take the safety off your AUG. It's game time. John, how often do you play Warzone? Uh, probably try to get at least uh, 30 minutes to an hour in. Not every day, but every other day at least probably right now. That's great, because I haven't touched it for weeks. I've just been playing Apex. You ready to carry me? Yeah. I ain't touched it in like a week and a half. I've been traveling, so it's going to be a little bit rough, probably. I think we're going to be rusty on this first match, but after that, we'll be flying. Before we jump in, though, our producer has presented us with a challenge. Tonight's challenge is for us to secure a win with at least 25 kills amongst us. You think we could slay out? It's only one way to find out. I hear a little hesitancy there. I want, I want confidence. It is a little bit, but you never know until you just play the game. So you can't make none of the shots unless you shoot them. That's right. All right, let's do this. Let's drop hot. Here we go. Oh, yeah, where are we going? Uh, where are we going? You want to go to the hole or you want to go to Barnyard? Bar Barnyard is a good spot right now, honestly. I'm with it. All right, you want to go where? Barnyard. Oh, uh, let's, let's do the scab right here, Barnyard. You want to go to Boney? Oh, we're a little late, I think, Boney, but I'll go with you. So I like playing Boneyard. on the outside sometimes. Oh, we'll same here, here, same here. Boneyard is my um, my spot, dude. I'm going to Boneyard. We're, we're, we're dedicated. Right, let's do it. Let's do it. 
Uh, we got, we got people below us. Bear. Nope, that's a bird. That's a seagull. Watch out for seagulls. They look like people. <laughs> I'm, I'm dropping on the sky right now. Okay. It looks like um, no one's here, though. You know, nah, because like it's going to happen because it's far away. That's why it was a good spot okay. to drop in. I got ammunition. Bro. No, I don't want this gun. There we go. Yeah, let's 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 get our looting on. Get the looting going. Gotta get the load out. What you like to get first when you drop in? Mostly, you like to like what contract you like to do? Oh, I usually yeah. go full bounties. Like go after people. I, I'm really like vicious. I'm like a little honey badger. I don't care if it, I'm outnumbered one to four. I'll go, go get it. Oh, truck to our left. Yep, you're right. Where is he? Where is he? Is he stuck? Oh, he's, is he stuck? He got out. One got out. One got out. One got out. Coming I don't. Oh. Okay, he's going to the left. I got him! So, the other gun! Witness me! I got both! Let's go! <laughs> Let's go! Yeah. Wait, is there people behind us? There's people behind us yep. in storage! Hold them out, hold them up! Actually, we should probably, should we, I don't know, should we go inside? Oh, right, we should I'm probably get the high ground. We should probably get the high ground. Or do you want to go kill him? It's a king out that way, too. Ooh, it is a king. I like hunting kings. There he is. Oh, he's coming oh, to your side. He's coming to your side. He's coming to your side. I'm watching your left. I'm watching your left. I'm watching your left. Is it just one guy? No, it's two. It's two. I we he's pushing you. He's pushing you. He's pushing you. I'm just better. My gosh, I am just. Ah! Ah! Oh, yeah, how do I wow. feel, kid? I just got quicker reflexes. Dude, let's go. Wait, are you fighting more people? Yeah, I just killed one guy. Oh, yes. You can't, dude, you can't stop this. Are you feeling it? Because I'm feeling it, man. I'm feeling this dub. Yeah, we doing good. Let's see. You got four kills. You're on fire right now. I'm on fire. Soldier incoming. Dude, it's like my old college. Oh, somebody just flew in. Somebody where, just where, where? flew in. Just storage. Is Are he going to the bar? No, 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 no. I just see him flying. Okay, okay. I'm coming with you. Yeah, he's to my left. Tighten up, boy. Tighten up, boy. Hey, oh, well, we got so much money. I am tripping. What are you doing? Get out of my game. I killed him. Oh, no, don't. I got oh, him. I might die. I might, no, no, I might no, no, die. no, 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 no. Just run. Run, yeah. run, 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 run straight with the arrow. Oh, there's a people. There's people in front of us, though. Oh, All this right. isn't good. good. No, he's, they're like waiting for us, dude. I got a plan. Drop, drop with me. Drop with me. Drop with me. Dude, do, do you see what I just did? Yeah, yeah that's, that's strats right there, bro. That, those are strats. We, I got bad news and I have wonderful news. What do you want to hear first? Uh, let's let's hear the wonderful news. Okay, so I'll give you the bad news first. The bad news is um, we're far away from the circle. The good news, I got us a car to get us in the next circle. Oh yeah, that's all we need right there. Uh, I play on a keyboard and mouse, so I'll let you drive. All right, come on. Uh, are you good at driving vehicles? Uh, of course. Good, because in Battlefield 4, I take uh, quad bikes and drive them over the landmines all the time. <clears throat> I'm feeling this wind, dude. I'm feeling it. Get... Yeah, there might be. Oh. Oh. Get us in here. Doesn't matter. Oh. Uh... No, 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 no. Are they pushing? Are they pushing? No, they're in there. Oh. For us. No okay. window. Don't worry, I've um, I've been trained in these situations. <laughs> they think they're so clever. That's why I wanted to ditch the uh, the car. The car, yeah. 
That was kind of my bad because I, I, I thought we would uh, roll on in. Uh, how do I get you back? I, I buy you, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, you gotta, oh, if, I, if I don't make it Wanna out. Want to see something long. cool? Want to see something cool? If you lose, you're done. You're up, soldier. Now go sort this out. Oh, oh, excuse you. Did, are you still on them right now? Yeah, yeah. I wish I could. I want. Uh, I want to drive back and get my guns. But I don't want to die. Wait either. a minute. Where you? Where you fly, flying to? I'm uh, I flew to this electric outpost area. Right, I'm dropping on you. Oh. Oh, well, this gun. Come oh, on. Two, we got two people. We got two people. All right, I need to find that gun or I'm dead. Uh, I could always give you my other gun, dude. All right, cool. I've been in these situations before. <laughs> and I'm going to give you my gun and we're going to win the game. 32 people left. How many kills do you have? Three. I have five. All right, we only have to slay yeah. like what, 18 more? <laughs> <laughs> we got this. Um, can you head to me? Yeah, I'm coming. I had to find a gun. I got one. Oh, there's another squad. There was a guy in here the whole... Oh, boy. Campers. Like, how, how, do you get, how, do you, how do you have fun sitting in a corner the whole game? Yeah, look, I can't look do that. Look, look at him. <sighs> Call of Duty has not mm -hmm. changed one bit if you go kill the guy who killed me there's a buy right next money? yeah there's a there's a guy there's a buy station right next to where i died to your left uh, i'll grab this loadout first oh that's a lot of loadouts you can, you can grab oh there's a guy right there I, he don't see me i i would try to yeah try if you can because it's going to close and you're not going to be able to find me oh okay <laughs> Hot drop. This is where I actually land all the time with my boys. Oh, this is your go-to? I'm doing, yep, this is my go-to spot. Woohoo! Get a gun! When you're opening one of these doors and, like, Batman popped up, he's like, where is she? Like, how terrified would you be? Like, well, but Batman, why are you in my game? Get out of here! When they had the, the uh, the ghost... Uh oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was hot during Halloween. That was crazy. The Predator. Moving location. We got. Oh, yep, yep, yep. Did you see that? Yep. People drop it in. People drop it in, which means that is a gulag drop. That is a gulag. Oh. Ah. Don't worry, I'm here. I'm here. That wasn't the guy, by the way. Who uh, dropped in? So just let so you know, there's more people still around. And what happened to my gun? There's chest up here, on the roof. Oh, right here. Got him. Where? Nice. I just killed him. Squad know. wipe. Uh, that I did not see. Car, 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 car. They got out. I'm going up top. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So, um, oh my gosh, I'm just better than you. Can't even hear me, bro. Come on, get your strat game up. Strat game up. Oh, yeah, I know the controls. Ha ha, ha ha. Just pretend you're playing Forza. Do -do -do. Go ahead and, and go get it load out, and I'll pick up the guns that you drop, okay? All right. I'm covering you. Covering you. Oh. Where are they? Oh, yeah, they, they, right here. Okay, I cracked him, I cracked him. 
Hey, do you want to see a cool magic trick? Want to see a cool magic trick? Yeah, come on, let's do it. Magic trick. Yeah, I like that. Okay, you need to drop me a gun though. I, I uh, or is there a gun I could pick up? Yeah, it's by the uh, it's by the by the box. I'm not gonna be able to get it. Okay, so I'm gonna. Oh. The... God, you oh. suck too, kid. I'm gonna take your. Sh Can't stop this. Can't touch this. Do 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 do. Okay, I'm gonna grab his, his gun. I'm gonna get you back though. You win this fight and you return to the front line. But if you lose, you're done here. You're up, soldier. Now go sort this. All right, yeah, you have to use it to get me back. I got you, bro. You ain't going nowhere. So back in the game. If you could be a a good gentleman and mock a thing for me, then I will go, um, oh, precision airstrike. Oh, I got you. Question is, how ballsy do I feel right now? I mean, pretty ballsy. Oh, wrong, gu sorry, and I'll kill you. You're so dead. Oh, wow. Oh. Oh, yeah, I don't even know you there. I'm just better. <laughs> hey, guess what? I got enough cash for you, I think. Oh, it's right there, right in front of you. Yeah, dude. Dude, keeping this alive, we're gonna do this. All right, five kills to start off. Not too shabby. Brother. Appreciate Welcome you, back. my good brother in. I got you, man. We're still in this, ain't nothing. These, these kids are actually not that good. Now be very, very, very quiet. We are hunting wabbits. On the wabbit, on the little wabbit up here. Okay, now I have to look at the map to figure out, oh, we gotta go hospital, dude. Let's do it. We need to take that truck to the hospital right now, okay? Let's go. Oh, lost some money. The sniper up there. Oh, don't look at me like that. You good? Yep, yep, yep. Oh, somebody just dropped down. He's running. He's gonna keep running. He's gonna keep running. He's gonna keep running. He's trying to get to the truck. They're trying. They're both trying. No! Oh, my efforts were in vain. Go down here, go down here, roof, go down roof, here, roof, go down here. Roof. Ah! Okay. Okay. Don't worry, I've been in these situations before. I know how to handle it. Oh, yes, come to me. No, okay, I'll let you do that. I got the strats. I got the strats. Oh! Oh, yeah. They're coming to me now. Oh, there's somebody outside of that car too. Oh, oh, shit. oh. oh don't damn. worry. I've been in these situations before. I know. Can you imagine how terrifying it would be if you're flying like in a giant aircraft like this and you're being dropped into an, an island with real guns laid around everywhere and you're having to fight for the last death, like last man standing? Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, I've. I probably just like, like pee my pants and land in the water, run away. Swim they should away. make a movie about it. Uh, they did. It was called The Hunger Games. Oh. Uh, okay, so we're gonna go. We're going to prison. All right. You ready? Oh, yep. actually. Uh, we're going port. Scratch that. Let's go. Ooh, I got I got someone who wants to play. Yeah, oh, if you grab a gun before me, I'm not gonna like this. Oh, 
Hold still. Are you okay? Yeah, I got him. Nice work. Enemy UAV overhead. I'm Batman. Oh, he got me, he got me. Finish him. Oh, that was my bad. You got him though, right? Yeah. Oh, I'm in the Ghoulie. I haven't played it. I haven't played Ghoulie this entire time. I kind of missed it. <laughs> you killed. You killed the guy who killed me, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice. You got two kills so far. Yeah. Off to a good start. Let's keep it going. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? I think we should go loot over here. We well, should go to loot over here, matey. I'm gonna get some. I wish I had a better gun in, for these loadouts. Oh! I should have. I weakened him, so he should be. Yeah. Oh, he's a little, little kid. He really wanted to kill you. He's like, I got him! I got him! <laughs> Did you, Billy? Did you? We got company! Uh -oh. oh, and I have nothing. <laughs> oh no, that's not good. Can you slide back this way? Or no? Yeah, I'm gonna... Oh, he's gonna... He's pushing you, he's pushing you. Oh no. Are you in Ghoulie? Yep. Oh man. Was it just one guy? I don't I don't think so, but I don't know if they had no guns. You win this fight and you return to the front line. But if you lose, you're done. Yeah, this is the you do have a Sentex and a smoke. Oh you heard him! You heard him! Punch him, punch him, punch him! Finish him! Maximus! 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 Are you entertained? I'm going back on my loadout. Yeah. Do it, do it, do it. Dude, you're carrying me now. I love it. Let's uh let's get you a gun, get you some cash. John, look like we got outgunned there, but I call hacks. What about you? Hey, for us not playing in a long time, I, I'm pleased with it. 12th and 14th, consistency. That's the best thing. Consistency is key. I, I think these kids got nothing on us still. We'll let them have this one. John, it's now time of the show for review and rating. John, it's time for us to review Warzone as if we develop games ourselves. I'll let you go first and explain it in articulate detail, the programming process behind this battle royale. Go for it. Uh, I don't know too much about the articulating part, but nah, Warzone, to me, um, it's a game that grew on me. Uh, like I said, like I've you know predominantly played sports games. Shooting games hasn't ever really been one of my strengths, but just giving it time and time again. Like, I just was a person that never used to be like, I don't know how you don't get bored doing the same thing over and over and over. But like, yeah, and then I started playing it more. I was like, wow, you really don't do the same thing over and over. Like, so it's, and that's actually why I like the game more now than I did before. Just because it's something different every game. So what are things that you like about it and dislike the game? Like, what are, what are your pros and cons? Um, The things I like about it, I like the cross play because um now that you know if you have an xbox or a pc or playstation is in the factor that's one of the coolest things um i like how they um kind of like co-mingle all three games into one thing uh with the war zone and the modern warfare that's pretty dope um and i like how you don't have to like because i don't have cold war at all so it's like, but you can still play Warzone with people that play Cold War and still kind of play with the the guns from Cold War. 
So kind of be able to play the Cold War game without having it, that's pretty cool to me. Um, I like like the, the, what they're doing with the guns, how they like, you know, the tracer bullets. I just seen something with the electric electric tracer bullet, like that kind of make me want to buy it now just for the hell of it. But um, I mean, I like the game. It's cool. It's real graphic for sure. Um, probably the cons. Uh, yeah, what are, what are things that need to go in the game? You, you've listed a great thing. So it's like you love the Tracer Bullets. Uh, the game's cross-platform. You're able to play with friends on different platforms. And also, if they have the newer titles like Call of Duty Cold War, what are some things that are like you have to take out of the game? It's a no-go for you. I feel like you should drop with your guns no matter what. Kind of like, I like that's I, I like Plunder in the sense where like you have your guns all the time. You should be able to switch it. Like I feel like they should put the multiplayer aspect of always being able to choose a class into the war zone and like really last. Like you don't really drop in. So if you were going to war, you're gonna have the guns that you want. It's not I'm about to go find some guns. So that would make the game probably more fun. Cause I don't really like playing without using my guns. So that's just me personally. I totally agree. That's one thing with battle royals that drive me crazy. It's when I drop in, I'm, I have nothing. I'm like, I just want my class. I just want my class. Just drop me in. Give me my loadout already just going into the drop zone and I'll be good to go. <laughs> yeah, I mean, to be that would be, you know, ideal. That way you won't have to work twice as hard. But I, I get it, I guess. But yeah, I feel like it'll be more fun. Because then you could test really the, like people's best if you start off with a gun. Because if you drop, you die, you go come out the gulag, and then you don't have a gun, like, you kind of, like, it happened to me, like, you kind of just toast stuck, so. And then it's a struggle just to make enough cash to get more guns, to buy another loadout, or it's just like you have to start the whole ramp-up process again after coming out of the ghoulie, so I, 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 yeah. I hear you. Now, on a scale of 1 to 100, though, where does Warzone land for you? I would probably have to say, like, a solid 85. Okay. Solid 85. 85, um, it's a B plus, not bad, but yeah. not amazing either. No, nah, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Just like the little things like that. Um, the gulag, like having a sniper in a close proximity, like that's, I hate when I get snipers or like no gun at all. I'd rather have no gun than have a sniper in the gulag. But just like little stuff like that. I wish it was more like, I don't like how they took the bunkers away. I thought that was a cool feature, um, the bunkers and stuff like that. But I don't know. I feel like, you know, it's, it's, I feel like 85 is good enough. I feel like they'll bring those back along with a handful of other Easter eggs. Uh, for me, Warzone rewards, I feel like great gun skill, which, which I relish in a battle royale. And the bounties and uh, activities keep me occupied throughout the match. The only gripes I really have is that I'm just tired of playing the same map. And these hackers seem to be getting away with the same hacks over and over, which can ruin the experience. You feel me? Yeah, I feel you. Like that's why multiplayer was fun too. And like ever since before Warzone was the thing, everybody was playing multiplayer. Multiplayer was fun because every game was like a different place. And like some places, you know, if you got a certain map, you knew you was gonna have a good game. But you know, others was kind of you gotta figure it out. But at least you got to choose gun. And you know, saying different places require different guns. Like you can't be a shipment with a sniper. It's no point. But yeah. That wouldn't make sense. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, for me, on a scale of filet mignon to Kobe beef, I give this game a solid porterhouse. It's filling, replete with two different flavors of both gun skill and contracts, and leaves the palate satisfied if cooked correctly at medium rare temperature, or in this case, if you don't get killed by a camper just sitting around in a corner, or a teammate driving you into a gunfight. <laughs> now, for, for those wondering, <laughs> For those wondering, a porterhouse, it's a strong 93 in my book. Sound about right, John? Yeah, I, I, yeah, 85, 93, that ain't too far off. Yeah, I'll meet you halfway. I like mine me, like, like yeah. medium well, so we, you, you might, you, you, yours might be a little bit more, you know what I'm saying, how you like it. <laughs> yeah, 90, 93 is a medium rare. You're more of a medium well guy, so it's, I, guess, as, as, I guess well done would be like a 50. <laughs> 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 we just keep going lower down the, the, yeah. the tunnel pole. Uh, Austin, John, well, total pleasure having you on the show tonight. Thanks for coming on. And next time we have you come on, we're going to be bringing Gronk and Brady to squat up with us. You down for that? Yeah, I'm with it. I appreciate you guys for having me. It was a lot of fun. Look forward to doing it again. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the Super Bowl champ himself, the one and only 
John Franklin III. John Franklin III is a champ in the NFL and in his community. His youth football camp, Champ Camp, is scheduled for April 17th, so make sure to sign up now at johnfranklinchampcamp.eventbrite.com. Be sure to follow John on his social media. His Twitter and Instagram are both at jf3 underscore five. It's that time in the show for me to go home and fix my battle net. Yeah, I tried reinstalling it. That didn't work. So I'm gonna reset my IP address, router, modem, and see what happens. If that doesn't work, bring out the mallet. <laughs> Watch the show on YouTube, Twitch, and any other streaming channel you desire. And follow us on our Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. And while liking our posts, go to thegamerhour.com to see what's in store next on the show. From Reuters Studio in Times Square, New York City, I'm Travis Cochran. Thanks for watching, everybody. Now go see Forrest Sniping Camper, and I'll catch you next week for another episode of The Gamer Hour.